Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome to Kiyat Academy. Hope you all are fine. So, uh, guys, in today's video, we're going to start a new that is basically understanding the demand, supply, and market equilibrium. Uh, it is basically a topic uh, of microeconomics. Uh, so, if you wanted to mar master's in microeconomics in the easiest way possible, so you are in the right place. So, let's start with the uh, our topic today. We will explain one of the most important topics that is uh, demand and supply. We will keep it super simple with graphs and real life examples so that you guys can easily understand. So let's get started with the first slide. That is basically introduction to my foot now. Now, what is microeconomics? So guys, uh, you need to understand first that what is microeconomics? Microeconomics is the branch of economics uh, that studies how people, businesses, and markets make decisions about, you know, buying, selling, and pricing. So in this video, we will learn what is demand, what is supply, the law of demand and supply, and how prices are set at market equilibrium. And then finally, uh, real-life examples to understand these concepts better. So uh, what is demand? Demand is basically how much of a product or service consumers are willing and able to buy at different prices. Basically, we are demanders, we are consumers because uh, we demand things and products in our daily life. So, uh, for example, if the price of an energy bar is dollar, US one dollar, so many students or many people buy it, but if the price rises from one to three dollars, then fewer people will buy it. So this is demand. So um, if we talk about the demand curve, as you can see right now on your screen, uh, the x-axis shows the quantity and the y-axis shows the price. Let me clear you. The x-axis shows the quantity. Okay. Here you go. The x-axis is the quantity and the y-axis shows the price. Uh, how to draw or how to um, make a demand curve? It's simple. First draw x and y-axis and then demand curve is always downward sloping, negative slope like that. Means price goes up, people buy less. Price goes down, people buy more. If we talk about at this point, at 20, we, uh, we have at 20 price and if we said what will what would be the quantity the quantity is uh you know the nine will be nine yes will be nine so this is basically how to draw the demand curve so uh now you uh, need to understand the law of demand what is the law of demand the law of demand and substitution and in income effects. First, the law of demand says when the price increases, the quantity demand decreases. And when the price decreases, the quantity demanded decreases. Basically, uh, this law or uh, these uh, two reasons explains are as uh, substitution and income effect. Then what is substitution and income effect? Substitution effect means when prices goes up, people switch to cheaper alternatives. For example, uh, if Coke becomes expensive, then people buy Pepsi instead. This is what we are doing in our daily life. So if we talk about income effect, the income effect is basically when price rises, your real income feels smaller. You cannot afford as much, so you buy less. Both effects make the demand curve slope downward. Now, uh, sometimes uh, the entire demand curve shifts left or right, not just up or down. Because, uh, for example, if people suddenly get a higher income, they can buy more even if price stays the same. So this is basically demand curve. So when the price rises, look at this screen. In blue line, we have the original demand curve. Let me clear you. Yes. Yes, this one is the original demand curve. In this case, price 
prices rises, like in this case, we have incre increment in prices. So when the price increases, the demand curve shifts upward or rightward. Look at the orange line. This means the price rises. In this case, we have increase in prices. Or if price decreases, then the demand curve will shift downward or the left side. You can draw it by yourself if you understand this concept. When price increases, the demand curve shifts upward. And when the price decreases, the demand curve shifts downward or the left side. In this case, the price increases. So uh, this is basically what we are uh, doing. Shift right means more demand, shift left means less demand. Now let's come to the supply side, then what is uh, basically the supply? The supply means how much product, how much of product or services of producers are willing and able to sell at different prices. For example, uh, if we talk about this uh, supply schedule, supply is simple. Uh, people demand things and the supplier sell the things, like goods or services, we say. So um, in this case, uh, you see, we it's same like demand curve axis are same like in on x axis we take quantity and on uh, y axis we take the prices as you can see. But the difference is the supply curve is always slopes upward. Look at this blue line. This is how we schedule or draw a supply curve. This is basically positive supply, positive uh, slope. So supply curve always slopes upward. And demand curve always goes downward. Now, um, this curve indicates, or this supply curve indicates, know that point. Then, when prices goes up, producers want to supply more, and when prices goes down, producers supply less. This is how we learn our supply curve or understanding. So now let's come to. Uh, the law of supply, that is basically so precious. Law of supply is simple. When the price of a product increases, the quantity supply increases. Or when the price decreases, the quantity supply decreases. It's simple. Price increases, quantity increases. Price decreases, quantity de decreases. Simple. Producers love higher prices because they can make more profits so they produce more. So higher prices encourages producers to supply goods. This is basically our law of supply. Now shifting in law of supply is something like that. Look at the blue line, the blue graph. It is basically original supply curve or initial supply. Now, what happens when the supply, uh, when the uh, supply shift downward or rightward? Look at this orange line. This this indicates that uh, uh, supplies shifts to rightward due to some external factors or something like that. If production costs fall or technology improves, supply curve shifts rightward or downward. If production cost rises or resources become scarce, then supply curve shifts left leftward. So it's simple. Right shift means more supply and left shift means Test supply. In this case, there is a rightward shifting in supply curve. So right shift means more supply. It means supply increases when supply curve shifts rightward. And supply curve shifts down uh, upward, then supply decreases. This is how we um this is how we understand it. So uh now let's come to the market equilibrium. Once you understand the supply supply and demand and shifting, you need to learn or you need to understand the concept that is basically market equilibrium. Then what is market equilibrium? It's simple. Market equilibrium is where demand and supply meet. Simple. In this case, when quantity demanded equals to quantity supply. So the price is stable, no short shortage or no sur surplus. So in this graph, the point where demand curve and supply curve intersect is called equilibrium point. Look at this A. Look at the graph. This A indicates equilibrium point. Okay. 
So or you can write E or A, whatever you want. So I just write A here. But so supply at this point, we have equilibrium price that is 15 and equilibrium quantity would be 10. So this is simple uh, graph of equilibrium price and quantity. So now uh, let's move to sure, understand the concept of shortage and surplus. What is basically, it's simple. You need to just understand it. If the price is set too high, the supply increases than demand or supply is greater than demand. This creates a surplus. Producers lower prices to sell their stock. So if the price is too low, demand is greater than supply. It creates a shortage. So the graph shows the zone clearly above and below the equilibrium point. The blue line indicates the demand curve and the red orange line indicates the supply curve. Now let's come to a uh, real life example. Look at this. Let's connect to this to real life. Like for example, iPhones. When Apple launches a new iPhone, demand is huge, but supply is limited. That is higher prices. Fuel prices. If oil price drops, but demand stays the same, then price rises worldwide. Sponsor activities. Limited seats and high demand ticket prices skyrocket. So this is basically our real life example that you can see uh, in your daily life. So if we uh, summarize the whole topic of demand, supply, and market equilibrium, let's move to the next slide, this one. This is basically the summary of the whole topic that we just understand. It. L look at this, demand. Demand is basically price increases, demand decreases. Supply is price increases, supply decreases. Or you can reverse it. Like here you can see demand, price increases, demand decreases. Or price decreases, demand increases. Now look at the supply. Price increases, supply increases. Or price decreases, supply decreases. Now what is market equilibrium is when the demand and supply equal, that is stable price at equilibrium point. So shift happens when income preferences, technology or cost change. So if you understand these basics, so you, you can predict prices and market behavior easily. So uh, let's come to our next slide. That is, uh, okay, just here. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to VH Academy. We make economics simple and easy for students worldwide. Check out our playlist for more macroeconomics, entrepreneurship, public finance, mathematics, statistics, and microeconomics as well. So like this video, share it with your friends, and leave your questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching.